Well, hello everyone. It's lovely to be here again for our worship this Sunday. And our call to worship today. Come God, walk with your people, for you alone are our strength and joy, and we put our trust in you. Come God, come walk behind us, beside us, before us, for you alone are our shelter and our guide, and we put our trust in you. Come God, we know you are near, the sound of your voice uplifts us as we bring our praise and worship to you. Amen. And our confession for today. So as we think of the things that perhaps we wish we had done differently this past week. In the silence of your love, we bring you the things that trouble us, that make us feel ashamed or afraid. God, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. God, have mercy on us. Listen to the words of Jesus we, that we can trust. Don't be afraid. Your sins are forgiven. I love you. Come and follow me. Thanks be to God. Amen. And our first reading today comes from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 to 5. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the richest fare. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a ruler and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendour. And our gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 men besides women and children. Thanks be to God. Well, I'm sure you've all noticed that supermarkets are very good at placing useless but attractive things right next to the checkout. Not to mention the shop windows in the high street and the huge number of adverts we see across social media and our televisions. We are constantly encouraged to buy things we don't need. Our whole society is skilled on creating inviting displays we could well do without and encourage us in all sorts of wrong directions. This law is all to give us some sort of gratification, which is immediate, and we forget the long-term consequences. In the reading from Isaiah, he speaks about God's yearning for something better for his beloved people. All the shortcuts to satisfaction and fulfilment are going to leave us unfed with feelings of dissatisfaction 
and perhaps disillusioned in God himself. Then we have this wonderful reading about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Here we have a picture of God's joy in feeding all who have come to listen to Jesus and they don't want to leave. The people had come from miles around to a place where they could not get food, but they knew that they wanted to hear what this man had to say, regardless of where they were. Jesus himself was in need of rest when he arrived in the wake of his cousin's death, John the Baptist. But still his compassion reached out to the people. They would have known that he cared. He'd healed many of their friends and Jesus knew of their need in him. As in every situation, Jesus takes whatever is made available to him and uses it for good, which far outstripped expectations. As usual, he involved the disciples in the work of preparation and distribution. In this act of practical feeding, Jesus teaches the people about the real satisfying feeding in all ways, physically and mentally. And of course, the delight that God has in feeding us. Like those people in the crowd that day who followed Jesus to hear what he had to say, to see the healing that he performed and to share that meal with each other. We need to know our need enough to seek God and to listen to him because he will delight in us. He will show us compassion as he cares for us as much as he did for those people on that day in Galilee. Amen. So let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father from whom every family in heaven and earth is named. We believe in God the Son who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we come to our prayers. Let us just empty our minds at the moment as we come to him. We have gathered here to meet God in worship. Let us pray to him now. Lord, awaken us in our need of you and make us hungry and thirsty for you both as individuals and as the Church of God. Don't let other issues sidetrack us from seeking you and increase our love and compassion so that we long to serve you through our love into the world around us. Bread of heaven, on you we feed. Lord, allow our world to see the true value of things so that the worthless things are forgotten and the real needs are acknowledged. Guide our leaders in wisdom and integrity. Enable us all to cooperate in proper care and stewardship of the world's resources. Bread of heaven, on you we feed. Lord, as we eat our food this coming week, remind us of your spiritual feeding. May the meals we prepare and eat be opportunities to for drawing closer to one another and to you. Bread of heaven, on you we feed. Lord, we pray for all who need medical attention or are waiting in pain for surgery. surgery. We pray for all those who are in hospital at this time and those now at home recovering from COVID-19. Also in our prayers today, we bring before you the people we know and those whom we don't, who need your love and comfort and healing at this time. Be with them, Lord, so that they know how much you care. Bread of heaven, on you we feed. Lord, welcome all into your eternity, those who have spent their lives coming to you and come to be with you forever. Have mercy on those who are approaching death and do not know you. May all respond to the true and living God and know your love forever. Bread of heaven, on you we feed. 
Lord, thank you for feeding us with a spiritual food that satisfies our souls. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so let us join together in the prayer that you taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the peace. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy and peace. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And the blessing. Blessing and laughter and loving be yours. The love of a great God who names you and holds you while this earth turns and the flowers grow. This day, this night, this moment and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. It's been nice to be back to here today. It seems very normal. And I shall continue to do these services for you. In the meantime, have a good week. Keep safe. Bye bye.